All right, so welcome to another one of our Qi Life Mastery webinars. I'm David Wong, your special host today. Welcome. And today we're going to talk about Qi energy. Qi energy, such a mythical idea. And for centuries, um, most of the public thought that is is not real. It's just a makeup fantasy. And it's just idea that we got from old Chinese Kung Fu movies and it's something that doesn't really exist. Well, let's find out if that's true or not. So here's my story about Qi. So my uncle and his mother, so my grandmother, used to train with the Shaolin monks in Foshan in, in China. And she learned Qigong and Tai Chi. And when she was around, she had hundreds of disciples. So she was considered a Tai Chi and Qigong master. She passed on her her ideas and her training and her knowledge to my uncle, who is well in his ears now. But I, when I was young and when I was uh, in Hong Kong, I had the privilege of learning some Tai Chi and Qigong from my uncle. <coughs> and ever since then, it in ingrained in me a, a interest in learning about martial arts and an interest in learning about Qi. And I still remember when I was young, I used to um, use my fingers like this and I would, my uncle showed me how I could move it up and down my arm and feel the electrical energy and tingling sensation up and down my arm. And at first I didn't feel it, but he said, just keep doing it. And just imagine there was a beam of light going out of your fingers and into your hand and into your arm. And eventually you're gonna start feeling the tingling. And eventually I started feeling the tingling wherever I moved my finger I could feel a tingling in that part of my arm. And I thought, wow, this is pretty cool. I have electric hands when I was a little kid. And I thought, you know, I didn't think much of it. I thought it was just a game. And I thought that um, it was just in my imagination and wasn't really a big deal. It's not until later um, when I researched more about the science of Qi and the actual um, quantifiable measurements of Qi energy that I realized, wow, I actually was able to manipulate Qi when I was at a young age. And people think that you have to be special, you have to have talent, you have to have um, lots of training to um, have Qi energy. But the fact is that we all have Qi energy inside of our bodies. Some people are more sensitive to it, some people are less sensitive to it. You can train yourself to become more sensitive to it over time through um, special Qigong practices or through Tai Chi or other meditation methods. So a little bit about myself before we continue. So my name is David Wong, and I'm also a martial artist. I practice Tai Chi, I practice Wing Chun. I used to have my own school, I have um, a few hundred students that have learned from me. I also practice Qigong, which is a art or a art form meditation form from martial arts and it combines movement, visualization, breathing, and also um, um, feeling of your body. So when you get to a certain point, then you can start feeling the chi in your hands. So a very basic practice, and I think most people can do this, is doing the chi energy ball. So if you're here, you're at home right now, and you wanna feel the chi energy, just try doing this first, Put your hands together, okay? Follow me. So put your hands together, rub them like this. I'm gonna show you a bigger screen. Rub them together until they get hot, okay? Now relax, open your hands, close your hands a few times, okay? Now shake the hands like this, okay? Now what you wanna do is to kind of relax your hands and bring them close together like this really close together, but not touching. Now I want you to slowly open up your hands like this, and then slowly close them back together like this, really slow, very gently. Now, as you are opening up, just imagine that there's a white ball of energy spinning in between your hands. And you want to, as you're opening your hands, Imagine the ball expanding like a balloon and the balloon is pushing gently on your hands. 
And as you push back, you can feel that balloon energy. Just imagine there's a balloon that is pushing your hand back. But as you push, the balloon gets smaller. And as you open up, the balloon gets bigger. So this ball of energy gets smaller as you go in and then bigger as you go out. And while you're doing this, what I want you to do is to also add, add some breathing. So you're gonna breathe out, breathe out, breathe out as you go in and breathe in as you come out, breathe out as you go in, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. So if you keep doing this, you may start to feel something in your hand. Who here starts, is starting to feel something in their hands? Raise your hand. So you can stop doing this and click the button. <laughs> Who felt something in their hand? Raise your hand. You can click the button on the screen if you felt something. Okay, so we have a chat box. What did you feel? A Q and A box. You can type it in there. What did you feel? Okay, who, who felt some kind of warmth? Who felt their hands getting warmer? Raise your hand. Okay, who felt some kind of tingling sensation? Raise your hand. Who felt some kind of numbing sensation? Raise your hand. Okay, so some people, so different people feel different things. So you may ask me, well, what is that feeling? Well, it's something happening when you are doing that exercise that I showed you. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what is happening. So you're probably wondering, well, is it my imagination? Is it blood circulation? Is it chi energy? What is that? What is that I'm feeling? Well, you're gonna find out uh, if you stay in this webinar. So uh, as I was saying, um, so I've been meditating uh, since I was 10 years old and I had the privilege of learning from different martial arts teachers um, around the world. And I was able to be able to um, feel energy in my body. And when you start to learn Qigong, if your energy is jaggly sensitive, now you don't have to practice Qigong. You, you can, it's basically the same concept if you uh, study Reiki or any kind of energy healing is very similar. Um, and what happens is you start to feel the flow of energy in your body. And if there's any pain or any blockages, you start to feel that there's a blockage. And if there's a blockage or pain, then you're more aware of where it is and you can, you can put more attention to that place, release those blockages and actually be able to um, help yourself heal or help yourself have less pain. There's a lot of um, people who just practice breathing to manage their pain. There's a lot of people who have um, severe chronic pain issues who take a lot of medication and what happens is the medication doesn't work anymore and the only thing that works for them is actually just breathing and proper breathing or meditative breathing that helps them to manage the pain. So breathing itself is very powerful and if you can master just the breathing, then you can master, uh, you can take yourself to a much higher level in meditation much higher level in your health, and much higher level in your mental cognitivity, so you, your brain will perform a lot better as well. So what else uh, have I done? I am also a entrepreneur. I have built several businesses throughout my, my uh, career, and, and uh, I run several companies. And I'm also a developer of technological, uh, health technology. I'm also the, uh, have a patent pending product or, or invention called the Qi Coil system, which combines this and a, um, and a mobile app for health and for wellness. So uh, what happened to me, if you don't know my story, is that when I was uh, a little younger, I had 12, I, I suffered 12 years of chronic disease. I had a digestive disease, I had ulcers, and that debilitated me for 12 years. I took medication and went to every conventional medicine route that there was available. And at the end of the day, I ended up getting worse. I had new side effects and diseases that I didn't have before I took medication. So I gave up on 
Western medicine, and I started to research other holistic and natural ways of healing. And it's not until I started using um, the technology that I'm using today that, uh, and since I used it, from the day I used it, it only took me 90 days to completely heal myself from this chronic digestive issue that there was no cure. There's no cure for this. There's no medical cure. And I was able to heal myself from it. So that's my story. And that's why I'm here. I want to share my experience. I want to share my knowledge. And hopefully I can help you to achieve your optimal health. If you're in a, if you have some kind of disease, if you have some kind of chronic issue that you've been dealing with and you can't, for some reason, you just can't get rid of, for some reason you can't recover from it, then hopefully um, this technology or whatever I'm sharing with you will give you hope and also give you a solution to get to you know, your optimal health level so you can get back doing what you love to do, get back doing the things that you love. If it's spending more time with kids or grandkids or spending more time playing the sports that you love or spend more time enjoying a craft or a hobby um, or just to have more energy, not be so tired all the time, not be so sick all the time and just be so exhausted because you're, you're in poor health. Or if you are already in good health, then this will take you to an even higher level of, of quality of life. Right? If you're already healthy, that's great. Uh, congratulations. You're, you're doing the right things in your life to really um, you know, have that health because health is so important. If you don't have health these days, what's the point of having all these material goods? because you can't enjoy them, you have good health. So congratulations if you have good health. Now, if you want to you know, take your health and your productivity and your effectiveness and, your, and to an even higher level, give yourself even more energy and more focus so you can even help other people who are in need. And then because the more energy you have, the more energy you'll be able to give to other people. The more that you can help other people, serve other people and to offer what you are to the world. And that's what I, my mission is about. I'm so happy that I have this technology. Give me the energy, give me the health, give me the focus, give me the mission, give me the purpose so that I can go out, do webinars like this, do meetings, do training, do coaching, do mentoring, do my channel, do podcasts, so that I can get this message out there because I want to help you. I want to help people who are in need. Why? Because I used to be depressed, I used to be sick, I used to be broke, and I know how tough it is. I've been through all the shit that you can possibly imagine. And it was not easy, it was really difficult. So if you're there or you know somebody that's there, hopefully my story is going to help you have hope once again, but also not just hope, but an actual solution that works, actual way to become, uh, have a better lifestyle, okay? So as I said, I was gonna share about uh, something about chi. So, if you learn about chi, if you who watches kung fu movies or or martial arts movies, who likes Bruce Lee? Yeah, we all like Bruce Lee, right? Okay, so Bruce Lee was one of my um, idols, and Bruce Lee obviously was not the first martial artist, and he was not the first kung fu guy on on TV, right? Way before that, we had kung fu movies long long ago, like back in the uh, 70s and 80s, and and, and every Kung Fu movie, you learn that people use chi. There's this ultimate power that these martial artists had, and they call it chi gong, right? And then they have people who, who had high chi levels, and they were masters, and they were um, regarded and feared and respected as the, the, as the leaders of the community or leaders of, um, of a um, tribe or leaders of a, of a family. So let me show you a slide here. So in ancient martial arts, there's many historical legendary masters that were able to perform super, superhuman feats. They were able to jump over our, uh, buildings, they were able to walk on water, they were able to heal people with their energy, they were able to um, break a boulder with their, without even touching it using the chi energy from their hands. And you might think, wow, that's just in the movies, that's, that's not actually real. It sounds like a Marvel movie or it sounds like a comic book. Well, let's find out if they actually do that. So, like superhuman powers today, like we may think, okay, well maybe back then in the ancient times, uh, we had abilities that we don't have anymore. Somehow we lost that knowledge, right? There's that uh, concept that as we progress, we're not actually getting more powerful as humans, we're actually getting weaker. And that may be true, but let's look at some superpowers today. There's a man, 
by the name of Master Zhou Tingzui. And he is a Qigong, Tai Chi, and Kung Fu master. And if you watch his videos on YouTube, you can see that he can light things on fire with his hands. So he can create heat energy with his bare hands without any kind of props. Uh, they were able to capture this with the thermal camera showing that he can uh, build up heat energy in his hands over 100 degrees to the point that he can light things on fire with his hands. So is this true? Is he actually real for real? Can he actually do it? Well, they, you know, they, they had uh, Ripley's, uh, believe it or not, they had people um, check him out and to find if he's actually pulling any kind of magic trick. They couldn't find anything. They couldn't find any kind of device that he's using. So they couldn't figure out how he can make his hands heat up so, so much. And he also uses this chi energy to, for healing as well. And then people that are treated by him are, are um, in incredible health. So is this for real or not? I'll let you decide for yourself. Here's another man. His name is Wim Hof. He's a world record breaker. And in, and in contrary to the previous guy, instead of having the uh, mastery over heat, he has mastery over cold. He's a world record breaker for being in the ice submersion in negative uh, or in zero degrees water for over, uh, about two hours in ice submersion. He's run half a marathon barefoot in ice, in snow, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. It took him two days to do it, wearing only shorts. So here's a man who was able to do superhuman feats, and he's still alive today. And people are trying to figure out with science how he's actually doing it. And one of the key things he, is, he does is use a breathing technique in his training. I personally did his uh, training for a few months, and I was able to uh, last two minutes in zero degrees ice bath without hyperventilating and without going into shock. I was actually very relaxed and it's uh, using a breathing and meditative and uh, uh, method to energize your body to create heat on itself and resist the cold. So what is that technique? Is it Qi? Is it Qigong? Well, he doesn't call it that, but it's very similar to what we do in Qigong. Let's look at Bruce Lee, like, we, like I said. You know, like Bruce Lee. What can Bruce Lee do? He can do 1,500 push-ups with both hands. 400 push-ups, it's one hand. 200 push-ups with just two fingers. Most people can't even support their body weight in two fingers. Who can do that? And he can do 100 push-ups on just his thumb. So that shows you what kind of ability and potential we have as humans. And what else? He can kick six times in one second. And his signature move, the skip sidekick, can kick a guy, 200 pound guy, through the armor into the sky. So here's the limit of our abilities. What else can he do? He can punch nine times in one second. He can do his one inch punch, and which I've also trained as well to bring uh, to, uh, of all, I can also do the one inch punch uh, through training. So what is this all about? Well, us as humans, with the people who can train to that level, we can surpass our conventional knowledge of what is possible with our human bodies. We have people who can light things on fire with their hands. They have master over heat. We have people who can survive and, and uh, thrive in zero degree temperatures. We have people who have superhuman strength speed. If they can do that, what can you do? What is your potential? What is your limit? Now, you may not be interested in lighting things and fire your hands. You may not be interested in becoming like a Bruce Lee and, and becoming a martial artist. But what if we just take you, you know, what if we just make your health 1% better every day? What if every day you're able to improve your health by 1%? Where would you be in one year from now? How would you live in just one year from now? If every day you were able to improve yourself, your health, mentality, your spiritual health as well, just 1% every day. And imagine where you could be in three years time, five years time, or in 10 years time. Imagine what kind of person you can be. So that's why I like to inspire you with today's this webinar is that these masters, these Qigong masters, martial arts masters, or whoever you, you consider as a idol, real people, not just people in the cartoons or people in the movies, real people who perform superhuman feats, when you look at them, they inspire us as humans to reach for higher heights and to become more 
than what we are to actualize our full potential. So you may be saying, well, they must be uh, um, gifted. They must be talented. And yes, they are. But there's also, we as humans, we, like I said before, we all have qi energy inside us. We all have full potential. There's different kinds of qi. So in Chinese medicine, uh, there is qi, pronounced uh, qi, but it's spelled actually with qi. In Ayurvedic medicine, they call it prana. And in Japanese medicine, they call it qi, but it's also the same thing. Uh, in chiropractic care, homeopathy, Reiki, osteopathy, and other healing modalities, they also have energetic words that explain qi. So what is qi? In qi, in Chinese traditional medicine, it's um, in, in regards to health, it's about a balance of qi. And with you can actually measure the conductivity of your acupuncture points. And then depending on how much conductivity or how much electrical conductivity those pressure points have on your body would determine, uh, you can determine how healthy you are or how healthy that organ or that meridian is. So usually when there's a lack of qi, that means there's not enough qi flow in that part of your body that would cause pain because there's not enough energy in that place in your body. Now, if there's an excess of qi, there's too much qi going there, then it causes inflammation, which also causes pain. So one, one simple uh, solution for pain is just to balance your chi, to have proper chi flow in your body and your meridian so that you don't have an excess nor do you have a lack of chi in your body. So in science, there's really no equivalent to science to, uh, to chi because in the full spectrum of what chi is defined in, in Chinese culture, it goes way beyond just the energy in your body. It goes actually into the cosmos and into the energies that make up the universe. So we're not gonna talk about that today. All we're gonna talk about is just the qi that is inside of your body or that you can measure that is near your body. And in science, we actually call that the biofield. It is the field of energy that is surrounding your body right now. So you may be asking, what is a qi? Well, qi is like a field. If you know what a magnet is, a magnet has a magnetic field and also earth has a magnetic field. And guess what? Human beings also have an electromagnetic field. And surprisingly, HeartMath Institute found that our hearts has an electromagnetic field that's the strongest in our body. Many people think, uh, think that the strongest field of electrical activity is in our brains because we think with our brains all the time, but it's not true. Actually, our hearts have an electrical field that's 100,000 times stronger than that of our brain. So by far, the strongest electromagnetic field is from our hearts. And HeartMath Institute has many scientists who've done studies, and what they found was that um, thoughts and emotions are actually affected. It changes when our electromagnetic field changes. So, not, so it's connected. Our electromagnetic field of our body, which can be measured with equipment, if that changes, that changes our emotions. And when our emotions change, we also change the physical makeup of our body or our health. And it goes the other way around. If something happens to our health or emotions, our energy field also is disrupted. It, be, it collapses and it also changes. So our energy field is connected to us in a very deep and profound way. And did you know that our magnetic field is, um, can be measured actually several feet away from the body? You think that it's only you can feel your heart, you can feel the heat from your heart, but it actually, the electromagnetic field can be measured several feet away from your body. That's how strong your heart energy field is. So whether you know it or not, you, are actually, you actually have a superhuman ability that you didn't even know about, is that your heart can detect things, disruptions, perturbations in the magnetic field of the environment around you. So... Another interesting fact is that babies, uh, when they start developing, the heart actually starts beating before the brain starts to develop. So the, when you first become alive as a human being, the first thing that's developed is your heart, not your brain. So positive emotions can create benefits in your body and negative emotions will do the opposite. Positive emotions actually, bo it boosts your immune system. And by focusing on positive emotions, you actually get healthier. In the Bible, it says the best medicine is laughter. And how true is that? It's actually scientifically proven. If you are happy, 
your immune system naturally boosts itself. There's another interesting fact is that a mother's brain waves synchronizes with her baby's heartbeats, even when they're a few feet apart. Isn't that interesting? So they don't even have to be in contact. A mother and a child, when they're far away, their brain waves are in sync. Have you ever heard of the story of when, or have you, if you have children of your own, have you ever had that intuition that something happened to your child if they got into an accident or something like that or something uh, was wrong and you had a feeling without any external um, communication with them, without anybody telling you, you just had a feeling that something was wrong or you had a feeling that something was right and then later on you meet with your child or your mother and then this actually happened. Who had that experience with Dora? Raise your hand. Okay, so we are actually connected, especially mothers and, and their children. So let's go into the science of intuition because we're talking about chi energy, chi energy. So what is chi? Chi is an electromagnetic field, as I said, but it's also a little bit more than that because with the field that we have around our bodies, we can use it to sense what's happening around us and actually be able to have precognitive abilities. We can tell what's about to happen before it happens. Really, you're saying, David, are you, are you crazy? You can be telling me that you can tell the future. Well, let's see what this science study says. Well, there's three types of intuition. There's implicit knowledge, energetic sensitivity, and non-local intuition. And I'm gonna explain to you what those are right now. So let's look at a, a test. It is called the, uh, where's the experiment? It's called the, it's called a photo experiment. I don't have the picture here. Here we go, emotional photo response experiment. So in the HeartMath Institute, they did the experiment with um, a double blind experiment. And what they did is they had somebody just sit in front of a computer and then they would show a series of different photos uh, to this person. And then some photos were just very neutral and then some photos will a, a trigger a emotional response. So maybe it's a, it's a puppy photo or a kitten photo and it makes you go, ah, like that, right? Or it could be something, you know, um, that triggers some other response emotionally. But what happened was that um, they measured the heart rate variability they measured um, the person's brain activity and they measured the heart's uh, activity. And what they found was that, um, the, this is profound. What they found was that the heart actually can sense or received information about the emotional image before it was even shown. And to the point that it was it was received information four to five seconds before it actually happened. And then the heart received it 1.5 seconds before the brain. So what does that mean? That means that your heart knew, or, or, or the heart knows that something's about to happen four to five seconds before it even happens. Isn't that just mind blowing? Who's just mind blown right now? Okay, I'm just totally mind blown when I even talk about this, is that they scientifically proved that the heart was able to determine the future, knowing that something's about to happen before it happened four to five seconds ahead of time. And that the heart was able to tell the future 1.5 seconds faster than the brain. So both your brain and your heart can tell the future, but the heart is even faster. Who's mind blown right now? Raise your hand. Okay, great. Yes, I'm totally mind blown too. And they went even further than that. And they, they did another experiment. And they did it with now two people. So two people in front of the computer. And then they both did the exercise at the same time. And guess what happened? They were even faster. They were even, they were even able to determine the future. They were able to to predict the emotional photo appearing even faster than just one person. So what does that show? It shows that if we work together, our intuition and our foresight and our precognition actually gets boosted. And 
interesting thing was that they selected entrepreneurs to do this experiment because they um, they theorized that entrepreneurs had more ability and more intuition. And when they found that they worked better together, they actually proved that people who have higher intuition, when they work together, their intuition goes up even further. So that's why it's so important to be aware of who you associate with, who you work with, if you're in business or even in, in general in, in any kind of career, because if somebody has negative energy, if somebody is just a, a downer, if somebody has, um, has bad chi energy and has bad luck even, then if you associate with that, and when then you intermingle with that energy with your oral field, that actually affects you, whether you uh, know it or not. It affects your magnetic field, it affects your emotions, and it affects your body too, okay? So be careful who you associate with. It's scientific, rather. We also heard the statement, like birds of the feather flock together, and that's an age-old wise saying, but now we scientifically prove that it does happen. So let's get back to chi energy. So we have an electromagnetic field, and it's called a biofield, and it actually carries information uh, in that field. We, we can measure and detect it. And then the, the equipment that they use to detect this field um, is, is several, actually. Uh, they, they have something called EEG or ECG uh, uh, cameras. They have kinesiology, muscle testing, thermography using infrared cameras, electrodermal measurements to measure bioelectricity, biophoton emissions to measure visible light, and high photon electrophotography, also called a gas discharge evaluation camera. Okay, I know lots of science stuff. So there's many actually different kinds of equipment that you can measure chi energy, measure this uh, aura field that you have. Now, um, I have some information about these two on the bottom, biophoton emitting emission and, and high photo electrophotography. Photography. So what's biophoton emission? Well, believe it or not, our bodies actually emit photon energy. What are photon energy? It's actually light particles, light photons. So our bodies emit light photons. And when you have a photon camera, we can actually capture how much light particles are coming out from our body. And as you can see, it focuses on the face, but the part of our body that actually has one of the highest photon energy focuses is our hands. And remember, uh, in the beginning of this webinar, uh, I showed you how to do the hand technique, uh, energy ball technique. And what you're doing is actually starting to activate your photons in your hands. And that tingling sensation and that warmth and where the numbness or the coolness that you're feeling is actually partially is from the photons that are coming out of your hands. Um, here's a scientific study of, of um, Qigong healers and patients. And they found that the Qigong healers who did their energy healing on the patients, um, after the treatment, their photons went down and then the photons on the patients went up. So there was some sort of transference of this photons from the healer to the patient. So they were able to measure this very consistently. And then it took some time after some meditation, after some rest, the Qigong healers' photon levels went back to normal. So energy healing from these Qigong practitioners um, actually were able to transfer energy in photon form to patients. And what they also found was that the, these two fingers, also called the Muda, uh, the Taoist Mudra for the sword finger, the sword hand, you can see this in a lot of martial arts, especially sword, if you, if you use the sword uh, techniques in martial arts. It's called the sword finger. And they find also with the biophoton camera that the highest concentration of photons are from these two fingers. So remember the story I told you about my uncle teaching me how to use the sword fingers on my hands and I felt this tingling sensation? Now it's actually scientifically proven after 30 something years later, I realized that what I did was actually shoot bio photons out of my fingers and then into my hand. And the tingling sensation was those bio photons coming out of my hands. And it just totally blew my mind when I discovered this. And now we have science to back up the concept of chi, chi energy. Who's totally amazed right now?
I know I'm a racist even when I talk about this. Okay, so there's also electro uh, photography with high voltage. And so not only do we have, so we have this energy coming out of hands and we can actually measure this with a camera called GDV camera. So there's a, uh, I have this um, device that can measure your, your uh, fingertips and the amount of energy that comes out of your fingertips. And for people who are um, healthy, it will have a um, strong and even aura. For people who are not healthy, they will have an erratic or aura that would be, um, have spaces or, or gaps or things like that, okay? Um, for example, if you're normal, you have a bigger one. If you're depressed, you have a smaller field. So this is the aura field. After and before massage, you can see it's erratic before and after it becomes more even tone. Um, someone who does yoga, you can see a beginner yoga person and someone who did a, a lot of yoga has a lot stronger field. Uh, doing qigong, you can see before, uh, uh, before qigong and after qigong. You can see that there's many ways of measuring qi. And what we thought of as just fantasy or something that just make up and does, doesn't exist or just exist in martial arts movies is actually real. We have scientific equipment that can measure biophotons from our hands, from our bodies. And we can show that someone who can use qi is able to transfer those biophotons to somebody else. We also have GDV cameras that show that we can enhance the energy field in our fingertips and also uh, in, our, in our entire aura through practices such as qigong, such as um, meditation, such as um, uh, different things. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means that you need to start practicing some of these breathing methods. Maybe you should start practicing yoga. Maybe you should start doing more meditation, or maybe you should start doing um, some yoga, uh, some Pilates or something that involves enhancing your energy field. But you may be asking, okay, well, I don't have that much time and I don't really have that much time to train and practice yoga or Qigong. Um, and I understand because we're all very busy Maybe we don't even have that much energy to start off with, so it's really difficult for us to start and learn something. And it does take at least six to 12 months to, to actually start learning Qigong and, and um, energy healing. And some people faster, but some people um, slower. So it does take time to train this ability. So how do you speed this up? Well, let me share you, who wants to know how they can speed up this health process? Who wants to know how to speed up the building of qi energy. He wants to know how to be able to use qi energy in their body. Raise your hand. Awesome, okay. So everybody wants to learn how to use qi energy. Okay, that's what we're gonna talk about. So we just talk about what is qi energy? Is it actually real? Now I'm gonna share with you how you can get more qi energy and the fastest way to do it. Let me share with you some, uh, this screen here. So what we did is we used a technology uh, on a, a patient who was a post-cancer survivor. And you can see that she had very weak energy and that the uh, energy field had lots of gaps in it. Some, some of them are actually non-existent, some big gaps. And um, the, the balance was uh, really off. So what we did was we used this technology and we, um, we give her therapy. So it was 11.10 when she started, and then later it was 11.41. So about um, 30 minutes later, look what happened to her energy field. We did a test again, and her energy field was much bigger, and the gap started to fill in, and her energy went level went way up. What also happened was we did the um, chakra alignment test, and we actually saw that her chakras started to align and become bigger. The bigger the ball, the more energy, and the uh, more aligned in the middle, the more aligned is. And you can see on the left, when she started, um, she had a very weak heart energy, and uh, it was uh, out of alignment. So we were able to improve her alignment from 81 to 90 percent. And what else we did? We reduced the stress levels, we increased the energy levels, and then we lowered the balance. I mean, and we and the balance went off a little bit, um, but that's normal because we're moving the chi around, and it's. Um, 
normal to to have a little bit of balanced loss. But the most important thing is that the stress levels went down from anxiety to optimal, and the energy went from um, not bad to even better. And the neat thing was that every person that we do this test on after using this technology has very similar effects. On a side note, we also did the test using um, the camera to, to measure the, um, the light discharge from water. And we were able to actually cr create more energy in water. You can see how much bigger it is. Here's tap water, here's spring water, here's tap water using the chi coil and the, and the aura coil and you just spring lots are using the aura coil and the chi coil with the frequencies. And you can see that the energy is about, I would say, five times more than tap water. So we were able to enhance the energy in your drinking water. So you may be asking, okay, what is this technology you're talking about? If you don't know about it, it's called chi coil. And it's also called resonant wave technology. There's two kinds. There's two different lines of products. So... So resonant wave is the, the wand, which is uh, higher powered. And if you have something that you need um, uh, the most power for, then you can get the system. Or if you, or if you need something that is kind of gives you a um, slow drip or slow, subtle energy all day long, then this is the portable version. And you, so small that you can actually fit in your pocket. You can see, I just fit in my pocket. It fits right there. Or you can wear it on the belt clip. It fits in the palm of your hand. And you can use it um, for meditation. If you have some minor pain, it actually helps too, like wrist pain. If you have some minor chronic pain, like neck pain, shoulder pain, um, chest pain, elbow pain, stomach pain, knee pain. Okay? It's very useful for that. Or even migraines or headaches, you can put it here. Uh, for mild uh, pain, it's very useful. Now, if you have some, you have some um, uh, uh, more serious issues, then I recommend getting the wand, because resonant wand, because then it has a more power, and then the chi coil won't do much for you unless you have more power. Okay, so now we have what? Why am I so excited about this product? Is because now you can create chi energy. These, these, the chi coil and the resonant wand create a electromagnetic field that is tuned to specific frequencies that actually enhance your health. So just imagine like you went to the most profound and the most beautiful and the most like um, most sang, most sacred place you can imagine like, onto a mountaintop. Just imagine the most sacred place you can imagine in nature. It could be in the forest or it could be in the ocean, deep in the ocean or deep in the earth or high in the sky in the mountain or it could be in space. Just imagine that location. Like even if you imagine that, you can feel that energy um, with visualization affecting you, right? So that's one way of meditation. So what this does is this actually, we actually have frequencies for those kinds of meditations. We have frequencies from earth. We have frequencies from the sun. We have frequencies from the stars. We have frequencies from different planets. We can frequencies of nature. So when you're playing the, the frequencies on these devices, you're creating this electromagnetic field that you can intermingle with. And what that does is actually programs your own electromagnetic field. It tunes it to the field of what is being played in the wands or in the coils. So what's happening in fact is actually you're receiving chi energy and you program your, your, your aura to experience true health and experience what nature intended for you in the first place to go back to what uh, we were supposed to experience when we were on earth. Just like when you're in that special place in the most sacred place you can imagine. So who has a question? Here's a question. Hey Linda, how are you doing? Is it possible to heal eyes involved with retina? Um, so in this webinar, I cannot make any claims that it heals anything. And I can't make any claims that um, it's used to treat any kind of disease. This is not FDA approved. And all the statements I make are just my opinion. Okay, that being said, there are many people who use our technologies who claim that they are healed from them. And um, they have the results to show it. 
Um, if you want to know if it actually uh, heals your eyes and retina, I would recommend you to um, study about PEMF technology. And they actually do have, actually, maybe I have the article here. Hang on a second. Um, Nelson, if you have that link to the 2000 studies, you can post it on here. So here is the article or the list 2000 medical studies done on pulse electromagnetic fields. And this, one, this is what this technology is based on, PEMF, pulse electromagnetic fields. And in this study, they have many different um, diseases that they were able to scientifically prove that PMF was helping or even healed. And let's see if there's anything, anything to do with eyes. Let's see, migraines, osteoporosis, nerve repair, pain, vision. Okay, so yeah, so there is a part about vision and uh, glaucoma, nerve, optic nerve atrophy, and glaucoma. So I'm sure there's something about in there about vision, about your retina. So if, um, if you email us later on, we can send you that link and you can um, get some more information on that. Okay, you guys have a few more questions. Can, someone's, can you put someone's pick on the machine and sell positive energy to them? Uh, you could possibly do that. So if you do believe that you can send energy to people and if you do that already, then what, what this um, can do is actually enhance that ability because it enhances your aura field, it enhances your electrical conductivity in your, in your meridians, and also enhances the electromagnetic field of your heart, okay? So, um, so with scientific equipment, we can measure it a few feet away, but in quantum science, it's actually infinite. There's no, no distance that, um, between two people who are in connection, right? There's, in quantum, we all are quantum entangled. So if you are, are uh, we want to send energy to somebody, then you can do it in instant time. There's no, uh, there's no distance that it needs to cover. You can reach them immediately. And if you practice that, if you believe in that, some people don't believe in that, that's fine, okay? But if you, don't, if you do believe in that, and it's something that you practice, then getting one of these technologies actually enhances that, like your ability to do it, it enhances your power. Like it boosts your signal. Hope that answers the question. So, so like what you can do is you can order one of the systems. Uh, you can go to our website, chilifestore.com or resonantwave.com and you can learn about it. And we have a money back guarantees. You can try it out and see if it works. And pretty much everybody who tries it, they, they just totally blown away after like first day or two days. And if it doesn't work, then um, you can try a bigger, uh, like a more powerful uh, system. Some people try just the, the the one, and then they get the without the power kit, and what, and it's not strong enough, right? And they say, oh, it doesn't work. But you just need you need just need a stronger um, system, so you, you can do it. So what's the price for each device? It says, hey, Paytia, and thanks, Linda, and Anthony. I hope that answered your question. Yeah, great, thanks. And then Pedia, is it Pedia? I don't know how to pronounce that. Petia or Pedia? Uh, what is the price for each device? Is there an office to experience it? Where is it made? Um, we don't really have an office to experience it because uh, most of this is sold online. And the prices are on the website. Uh, if you go to those links, resonantone.com. Let me just type them out here so you, you know where to go. She like store. Okay, so our store uh, is chilifestore.com. You can find many products there. If you're interested in the higher powered version, you can go to resonantone.com and you can learn more about it there. Okay, so once again, uh, we have we have several technologies, but the most popular ones will be these two will be these two. So we have the, what we call the cheek coils. They're compact. They run off your phone. Okay, how that works is you, you have a phone. You download the app called Cheek Coil. You go to the App Store, you go to Google, Google Play. You search for Cheek Coil, Q-I-C-O-I-L. And then you download this app. Okay. 
And once it's loaded, then you can see the frequencies on there. So you can play the frequency. You just play it and play a sound. And what that sound, we do with this sound is we now we plug in the Qi coil to the phone like this. It's so simple, you just plug it in. And now it's connected to your phone. And now when you play this frequency, it just uses the power from the phone to, to create a magnetic field using the Qi coil. And this Qi coil has a magnetic field you can measure about three feet away. So when you put it anywhere in your body, it's actually affecting a large part of your body. And um, when I show people who this, they're just mind blown because like, wow, you can create Qi energy with this little device. You just need a phone. Yes, you can. That's exactly what this is. So this is what I have patent pending. And not only that, there's several, uh, there's about over a hundred different frequencies and each one of them has a different purpose. So we have frequencies for relaxation, frequencies for meditation, frequencies for sleeping, frequencies for, for stress relief, uh, frequencies that can enhance your, your uh, ability to send energy to other people, uh, frequencies that enhance your own energy to help yourself recover faster. Uh, you know, when I don't get sick very often, like last year I got sick one time, I got a flu, and then I felt really tired, and then I used the wand, like um, just all day. And then the next day, I was like, I would say 50% better. I did it again for all day the next day. And the next day I was completely fine. It's a, it's a flu. When everybody was having a flu, they're usually out for at least a week or maybe two weeks. I recovered in two days. Okay. So it's really powerful stuff. So for the family, it, it's great for uh, preventive medicine, uh, preventative health, right? Because like, you, obviously you don't want to wait until you get sick before you get one of these devices, right? Uh, and the cool thing is that this, if you just have it, um, use it on a daily basis, yeah, it can actually boost the health and vitality of your whole family. Uh, it's great for your elderly, like my mother who had just stroke last year. Now uh, she has this playing all day in her house. And what she has actually, I gave her this one, it's a, uh, the third thing that I haven't showed you yet is called an aura coil over here. So that's just a much larger version of the two, of the three. And what that is, is now you cover the whole house or a big area with an electromagnetic field that's positive. And whoever is in the house, they don't have to worry about holding it or turning it on. It's just playing all the time. And now you're receiving this healthy energy 24-7, um, 30 days a, a month, seven days a week. 365 days a year. And then it goes back to my question um, in the beginning, Weber, what if you can increase your health just by 1% a day, right? For the next 10 days, for the next month, for the next year, imagine how healthy you're going to be and how much more powerful you're going to be, how much, how much, you know, more productive or how much happier, better mood. And, and as a present person, more, more, a more effective person you're going to be. Um, yeah, and, and I, am, I am someone who, who uses this on a daily basis. And my story is that I've completely transformed myself with this. I was completely, I was sick. I had a chronic illness I had for 12 years. I was depressed because um, of a situation. I was, I was in a really bad financial situation. But um, and had, I was had a very bad relationship situation too. But all that totally turned around, and I would say you know it's the technology who did it, but also my own willpower as well. But combined with the technology, and now I am very healthy. I I rarely get sick. I have lots of energy every day, and having that energy gives me the ability to work. It gives me the ability to focus, gives me the ability to create things. It gives me more energy because you want to create something, um, you know, create a human or if you have a baby or if you want to create a, a business or an idea or you want to do some, make, create a project, it needs creation power. And creating things takes lots of energy. It's just like when a plane takes off from the ground, most of the energy is spent on the gas that gets it up to the air. And once it gets up to the air and it's flying, then it doesn't use that much energy. So same, if you want to get something moving in your life, you want to get some momentum in your life, you need that energy. And most people can never pass that block, that wall, right? They get motivated, you know, they want to do something in their life. They get inspired, 
go to the gym, lose weight, get better shape, or do more meditation. And then they, they try for a little bit, and then they kind of lose energy, right? Who's been there before? <laughs> Raise your hand, okay? You lose energy, you lose motivation because there's so much external influence. Oh, okay, you got this stress coming in from here. You got uh, you know, all these bills and finances and problems that are coming from here, or you have this person that's giving you a hard time. And then that just drains your energy. And then all of a sudden you don't care about getting fit. You don't care about um, you know, do meditation. You don't care about exercising as much anymore because there's too many things blocking you. So what do you need? You need energy so that you can, you can go through that blocks and push through and then becoming a better person, you know, achieving that goal that you want. And the key is having that internal chi energy that's going to be the engine that keeps driving you to move forward. Okay, so that's the key to success. Actually, one of the big keys is you have to have energy. A lot of people, they just imagine, they say, I want to be successful, I want to be successful. I, mean, I have a lot of attraction, a lot of attraction, the secret, the secret. They keep visualizing, but then they don't do anything. And I don't blame them because they don't have energy to even even do anything. Now you want to do it. You want, you know what you need to do. You know the steps you need to take to get yourself to be more successful, more healthy, whatever you need to do. Lose weight, uh, get in shape. You know what you need to do, but you just don't do it because you don't have energy. <laughs> I don't blame you, okay? I've been there. But once you get energy, it's just completely different. Everything becomes easy because now you have this energy coming. You don't even have to have energy from yourself. This is giving you energy all day long. And now whatever you eat, like your supplements, your vitamins, your herbs, whatever you do, your meditation becomes 10 times stronger, 10 times more effective. You can do 10 times more than you can do. One hour of work, and now you go 10 hours of work instead of like, you're sitting in front of the computer doing nothing or just staring in the screen. So it just, I think it's a, it's a technology that totally enhances who you are. And whatever you really want to do, it gives you the energy so that you can do it. And that's, that's the main thing, right? Like we can go into all the science, all the you know, chemical reactions and all the research reports, but at the end of the story, what is this gonna do for you? How is it gonna change your life? Is it really worth the investment? So this one, this one, some people think is expensive. It is expensive for some people, but some people are not. Because think about it, you can use this for your whole life. It comes with a three-year warranty and it's virtually disruptible. It's made of solid aluminum. Okay, it's like almost impossible to break it. So, you know, unless you drive over it with a tank, it's not gonna break. So, so this is something you invest in now, one time, and you can use it for your whole life. And, and then it's not just one person that uses it. You buy a supplement, you buy a, uh, uh, um, a health food. Only one person can eat it, right? <laughs> so, but this, your whole family can use it. You can even use this as a business. You can use this to help other people with it and, and start a business with it. You can actually become one of our distributors and do just that. You can be to become a practitioner. You can uh, get licensed by our company to use this professionally and use it to help other people who are in need, who are in healthy need, who need uh, improve on their health, or you know they're dealing with stress or post traumatic syndrome, uh, stress disorder, or they have uh, anxiety. It just works for all those things. And we have lots of practitioners that are doing just just that right now. They have businesses that use our products, like the big coil you see in the back, like our wands, uh, and even the chi coils, and and they totally enhance their business uh, from it. Um, their customers are so happy because they're getting the results that they want and they're getting it very quickly too. Um, we have people uh, reports, you know, with um, frozen shoulders that are able to move their, you know, they, with zero movement after 30 minutes, they can move their shoulder with full rotation just for 30 minutes using this and nothing else, no massage, not even touching the person. They just play this thing for 30 minutes and it fix the frozen shoulder. 100% movement after 30 minutes, okay? So that's, that's what's been happening. There's people with varicose veins who have purple veins that are sticking out of their legs. It's so ugly, okay? I'm, I'm sorry to say that, but that's true. They use this for three days, okay? And the veins are gone. They're smooth and they're blue, okay? We have testimonials. We have all of these testimonials to, to show you. And then um, and then the list just goes on and on and on. We have hundreds of customers who are very happy with this. So, so um, let's see, here's another question. Did you create these energy stimulating 
PMF tools by yourself or do you have a team that helps you? Yes, I have a team. So I work with uh, scientists, bioelectrical engineers, holistic practitioners, um, frequency experts. So we figure out exactly what works. And, um, but I'm kind of like the guy who put it together, put all the knowledge together and created a product from it. So, uh, but yeah, I do work with a team. We also have a manufacturing team, uh, craftsmen who, these are all handmade by the way. They're all handmade and um, handmade in Canada. So they're really high quality and they, they are very durable and last for a very long time. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks, Mary. All right, so um, that's all for today's webinar. I hope that inspired you to um, take action and, and try this technology out. So um, by the way, here's a Qi energy meter just to show you what, what, how much energy is coming out from here. So, let me turn it on. So you can see, if I get closer to it, it gets higher, it fades away, it gets lower. I turn it on, I didn't turn it on very high right now because I don't want it too strong. But if I turn it up higher, you turn up the, the amplifier. Okay. You can see that it goes up a lot higher. And then right now it's not on the ideal frequency for this test, so, but you get the idea. Um, so there is electrical, uh, electromagnetic field emitting from these devices. And let me turn it back down, I don't want it too high. Okay, so these are very powerful. So if you're gonna use them for a long period of time, you don't want to turn too high. You just need like a trickle effect. Um, but if you're using it for a short period of time, maybe just for five minutes or 10 minutes, you can turn it up and then, you know, and then experience the, uh, you know, the more focused and more enhanced energy in a higher power level. So until next time, thanks for coming to the webinar. I hope that um, we can really help you. If you want to call, if you want to contact us, you can also reach us at our email address. And I'm going to post it here as well. It's a support at resonantone.com. And uh, we can get back to you right away to answer any of your questions. We also have financing. So if you want to just do a payment plan, you can apply for financing and you can get one of these systems as low as $119 a month for, for even our higher end systems or just a little bit over a hundred dollars a month, you can get it. And you can even get these um, starting even lower than that. So you can have monthly payments. It'll be very easy for you to uh, get these in your hands. You can start experiencing this key technology right away. All right, so come, thanks for coming to this webinar. I hope that this inspires you. I hope that this gives you hope. I hope that this gives you new ideas and um, for transforming your own health. And so I look forward to seeing you and getting to know you and to helping you and becoming good friends as we go on this journey together to help you transform, to reach your health goals and your personal goals to be actualize your potential. So I'm David Wong. Have a good night.